seated. Don't call Pastor Burley this morning as uh, horny, but I will have to really deal what God wanted us to receive this morning. You know what? God would want to uh, receive or hear us a message on heartaches. <laughs> There, how many of us today are going through hurts? Maybe you've gone already, that's been for a while, uh, we're talking here about months, or maybe a year or two or three. Uh, they somehow like are under already the carpet, but you cannot deny they are there. Now, God would want us to understand, ladies and gentlemen, talking about hurts, they really and are always part of our growing process in the Lord. Growing process not just intellectually. Kasi alam po ninyo, pag estudyante ikaw, kailangan makaranas ikaw na ima-embarrass ikaw ng iyong professor for you to grow up intellectually. But I'm not just talking here about intelligence. Emotionally, hindi tayo kasi makatu ang paano yun sa Tagalog? We cannot learn unless we are hurt emotionally. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the very reason, sole reason, simple reason, why is that so? Because we're living a broken world. Perfection are yet to come to the next life or when the Lord reigns in this world. But in as far as to the dispensation of today and to this time, because we're living a broken world, hurts will always be part of it. I mentioned about intellectual, intellectual progress, emotional progress, but there's something more, which is our spiritual lives, our growing process in the Lord. Don't you know, ladies and gentlemen, that every day we're growing to be more like Christ every day. Despite of our failures, despite of our uh, falters, and all the rest of those mga negative things that maybe are going around us. By the grace of God, each, each day is a step higher, step closer, and each day is, is a day where we're becoming more like Christ. Are you still there? Amen? Amen. Speaking about Christ's character, palakpangan po doon natin ang Panginoon. So, plainly, as I said a while ago, God would like us to understand and receive this morning the word concerning on hurts. Concerning on particularly, very specifically on hard aches. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, sabihan mo. Paniho tayo. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo. <laughs> May iba iba kasi tayo mga hard aches. No? Habang itatanggapin natin ang salita ng Panginoon ngayon, uh, he, he gonna deal you personally. Iba yung understanding kung ma-receive ngayon eh. Sa'yo din, at sa kayo katabi mo, kasi unique ang Diyos na magmi-minister sa atin ngayon. Okay, balikan po natin ang salita ng Panginoon, no? Particularly, the second paragraph, sapagat we gonna dwell in here more. Sabi ni Pablo, Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it to my own. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Simply, sabi ni Pablo, hindi ibig sabihin na ako'y perfect na. Pero sa second paragraph, he said, But one thing I do. Sabi niya, hindi pa ako perfect, pero meron ako isang bagay na natutunan. Lahat kasi tayo, may mga matutunan tayo bawat panahon na ma-hurt tayo. Bawat panahon na maka-undergo tayo ng heartaches. Heartaches. Are you still there, Amen? Amen. Sabi ni Pablo, this is the wise I learned. I forget what lies behind me. Very simple ang English niya, no? Sabi niya, forgetting what is the past. And straining. Alam niyo na yung straining? Pag kayo po ay, ano, na yung pawis na pawis na gumagawa ng trabaho, abang nagluluto, pawis na pawis ka, tawag nun straining. Ang ibig sabihin nun, yung focus ikaw ba? Yung binibigay mo lahat. Sa bahay po, nagtatanong yung mga kasama ko, galit ka ba? Ah, hindi po, hindi po, kasi nag-i-study ako, yung binasa ko kanina, tatlong oras, apat na oras, yung kahapon yung minorize ko, I'm allowing it to become part of me. I'm not angry, I'm just concentrating. Ang tawag nun, i-strain. Sabi ng mga nanay, huwag po akong didisturbuhin kasi may ginagawa ako dito. Strain. Say the word strain. strain. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, strain. strain. Sabi ni Pablo, 
One thing I'm learning, I forget the past. I'm straight forward. Ibig sabihin nun, I'm giving my full focus to what lies ahead. Ibig sabihin nun, ano yung nasa unahan, doon ko binibigay ang buhay ko ngayon. Wala na kasi tayong magawa po sa nakaraan. I tell you ladies and gentlemen, hindi talaga maiimbento ang time machine. <laughs> Amen. Ibig sabihin, hindi na natin marirepair. Tama ba yun? O hindi na natin ma maridu. Siguro the better word is not repair. But we already cannot redo to what has been done. To what is the past. Sabi ni Pablo, wala tayong magagawa kung ano mang nangyari, nangyari na po. Sabi niya, instead, meron po tayong learning na matanggap galing sa Panginoon, kailangan kalimutan na natin yung mga nang, ano, uh, nakalipas sa Bisaya pa. Ato nang kalimtan ang tanang mga nang labay. Entiendes? Disita daw kita, ulbida, ulbidamos, kosa ke niyang pasaya. Now, here is wisdom, friends. I'm about to explain. Now, listen. When you loved others and almost gave your lives to them, but instead they were bad to you, ito, ito na yung twist ng message ng Panginoon ngayon. Ganito tayo eh. Tayong mga anak ng Panginoon. I'm not talking here Kasi kayo mga yung people, marami kayo na ngayon bumagang ito ha. I'm not talking here of our love to an opposite gender. Only, no? In, in all of the aspects sa buhay ko natin, pakinggan mo paano ka pinapangusapan ngayon ng Diyos. Pero listen, ganito kasi ang, ano, ang puso ng tao eh. Pag anak ikaw ng Panginoon, much. Alam ko ninyo, pag tayo pinagmamahal, Binibigay ko natin ang lahat na wala pong pag-aatubili. When we love, we really give our undivided devotion, our undivided focus and everything. Ito yung, ito yung twist, ito yung dividing line. Sapagat human tendency, hindi ka dapat turuan na ganun kasi parte talaga yun sa, ano natin, sa ating pagkatao na automatic, automatically, ini-expect ko natin na sino yung minamahal ko natin, sino yung binibigyan natin ng lahat, ganun din ang kanilang palo sa atin. Now, here is the failure. Because, in as much as you love, and in as much as you give your life to others, we really can't avoid. There are so several times that these others instead are bad to you. That is where hurts begin. Amen. Everybody say amen. amen. Okay, you smile. Come on. <laughs> Kasi lahat tayo. Okay, bibigyan ko kayo ng isang example, ha? Uh, for example, when you are being maligned, by maligning you. Sige na, sabi mo maligned. Maligned. I went to the dictionary. Tinignan ko ang yung ibig sabihin ng maligned. Maligned is when you are critically spoken against of at your back. Mas pa mga Pilipino, no? hindi talaga kaya yan yung harap-harapan na ano ka, yung, you, will, you will destroy you. Walang ganun, ano? Pag may hindi nagkagusto sa'yo, walang ano yung sa harap-harapan na i-destroy ka. Gagawin yun yung wala ikaw. Kasi sabi nila mas masarap daw kasi, mas matamis. Hello, Amen. So, <laughs> hello, praise God. So they will begin to destroy you, malign you. Pero ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking here of something which is not our ministry. Sabihin mo yung katabi mo, hindi ko ministry, hindi mo ministry yung pagmamalign. Sige, come on. Mal Amen. Maligning kasi is a form of accusation. The devil kasi is the only accuser of the brethren. Hindi tayo, ano po? Kaya kung makikita tayo ng mali, wala talaga tayong rights whatsoever to judge. But anyhow, maligning. Ladies and gentlemen, sabi po ng salita ng Panginoon, we got no other choice but to move on and forget what is the past. 
<laughs> Everybody says amen. amen. So kanina, how can we let go of our hurts? Simply po ang inihiling ng Panginoon. Sabi ni Lord, anak, huwag mong itali ang iyong sarili sa iyong nakaraan. Huwag mong itali ang iyong sarili sa mga tao na nag-hurt sa iyo sa nakaraan. Sabi ni Lord, we are we are to move on and go forward. Amen? Palapakan na natin si God. God has a word for us this morning. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot live forever in pain. Amen. We cannot. Siguro the right word there is we cannot live perpetually in pain. 70, 80, 85. Siguro kung suswertehin po tayo, by God's grace, aabo tayo na 90 years. Mga kapatid, wala pong kabuluhan na mabuhay tayo dito sa mundo ng 70 years. Uh, 80 years, 85 years, or 90 years. Aabo tayo ng mahabang taon, pero araw-araw tayo po ay nagsasuffer ng pain sa loob. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, child of God, you cannot live forever in pain. God has a better plan for you. Amen? Amen. At ito po mga kapatid, bilang anak ng Panginoon, you deserve to be happy. Yes, God. You deserve to be happy. Amen. Palapakan po doon natin sa Lord. You deserve to be happy. Alam ko talaga ang story ni Joseph. Joseph sa book of Genesis. Nung si Lord, uh, blinesh na si Joseph, uh, yung galing siya sa preso, no? alam po natin ang story ni Joseph na nag-dream po yung king. Naghahanap po siya ng in interpretation sa kanyang dream. Si Joseph po, sa pagkat meron siyang ano, pahit galing sa Diyos, the anointing enabled him to interpret the dreams of Pharaoh. In gratitude, si Pharaoh lifted him up. Now, Pharaoh, or rather si Joseph, became the prime minister of Egypt. So, later on, isa sa mga bagay na ginawa po ni Joseph para makalimutan po niya ang lahat ng pait at saka difficulty sa kanyang buhay, siya po'y nag-asawa. And uh, when he begot his firstborn, ang pangalan ng kanyang firstborn si Manasseh, basahin ko doon natin sa Genesis chapter 41 verse 51. May tao pa ho dyan? Okay. Sabi po dito, Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For he said, God has made me forget all my hardship and all of my father's house. Ang uh, ibig palang sabihin ng Manasi is forgetting. Amen? Sa'yo si BJ. J. Uh, Sa'yo si BJ. Mga 20 years, J. Pag makasawa, ikaw na, pwede mong pahala ng Manasi. Ang uh, ibig sabihin, sabihin ng Manasi is, sabi po ni uh, Joseph, because I am forgetting all of my hardships, all of my past, and all of my father's house. In fact, it's talaga yung ano yung sa sa last uh, line sabi po dito ni uh, ni Joseph. Sa pagkat ng pagit kasi dinanas niya sa kanyang family hindi po basta basta. Alam mo niyo pag tayo pa'y masasaktan galing sa stranger, makalimutan natin yung kagat kasi stranger eh. Ang sakit nun yung matanggap natin sa yung talagang ini-expect at saka dahil, dahil mahal po natin sila at saka ini-expect po natin na ma mahalin tayo balik. Ganun yun si Joseph. Imagine he was betrayed by his 11 brothers. Sa kaya, nung ipinanganak ang kanyang unang anak, si Manase, sabi niya, Lord, find out to be healed. That's why he called his name Manase. Amen? Now, brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord for us this morning is this. God would want us to move on forward, and He wants us to grow. Amen. Let's shout this together. Itong three words. Move on. One, two, three. Come on, say, move on. Move on. Forward. forward. Go. Palapakan po natin si God. Hallelujah. It was last night when I received this word. There are these two things, God. One, one want us to receive this morning. 
Okay, first of all, pag tayo po'y nakakaranas po ng pain, ang ibig sabihin po ni Lord, yung implied word niya sa atin, dalawa kasi yun, yung express word at saka implied word. Yung express yung naririnig talaga natin. Yung implied, hindi tayo nakarinig ng boses ng Panginoon, pero sa pamagitan po ng dinadaranas po natin, naiintindihan po natin ang kalooban niya. Kaya nga, implied. Hello? God always reserves you a better one. Amen. Pag may pain o may hurts tayo na naranasan, ibig sabihin yung pain na yun, yung hurt na yun, hindi yun para sa iyo. Something is being reserved by God better than that. Amen. Kasi tayo po, we are short-sighted. Si Lord po, nakikita po niya anong nasa unahan. Okay. I would like us to go down in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 1. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him from being king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided for myself a king among his sons. Now, si Samuel daw, buong taon o dalwa o tatlo, I don't know, hindi sinabi dito, gaano kahaba yung panahon na yun. Palagi daw siyang umiiyak, nag-grief daw si Samuel. Yung parang namatayan, Diba yung pagmanamatayan tayo, umiiyak tayo, tsaka yung iyak na yun, ayun, malalim talaga yun. Ganun po si Samuel, umiiyak siya, tsaka malalim ang kanyang pag-iyak, nasasaktan siya, tsaka malalim ang sakit na naramdaman naram niya, hindi po sapagat namatayan siya. Dahil daw, sabi dito, sa failure po ni Saul. Hello, amen. Si Saul kasi, was the first king of Israel that Samuel, Samuel the prophet was responsible of his uh, assumption. At marami talaga expectation si Samuel para sa kanya. Pero si, Sa, si Saul po, siya po'y nag-disobey sa Panginoon. Kaya na nasaktan po si, ano, si, <laughs> si Samuel. Ang akala niya, tapos na po ang lahat. Na wala na pong bukas, wala na pong pag-asa, na wala na pong uh, mas maganda pang plano ang Panginoon. Kaya nga si Lord nakipag-usap sa kanya one, one day, one morning. Sabi ni Lord, stop crying. Stop feeling the pain. Stop grieving. There are how many of us today who are still grieving? God's word for you is stop grieving. Kasi sabi ni Lord kay Samuel, I have, pre I have prepared a better person to replace King Saul. And it was David. Merong, merong isang, ano, isang article na nabasa ko po. Kasi ito po yung biblical principle. Galing po sa Diyos. Yung for, 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 uh, we forget the past at saka we look forward to what is ahead. Galing yun sa Bible. Alam ba ninyo, kinopya ito ng mundo? Especially po sa mga ano, corporate people. Kaya nga, this succeed. I read this article. Uh, kinala ninyo si Henry C. Is the owner of the Shumart. By the way, just for the record, he is the richest Filipino. Si Henry C. 84, 85 years old. Isang araw daw, ito si Henry C. Meron siyang isang ano, uh, corporate executive. Hindi sila nagkakaintindihan. Palagi silang ano ba, yung opposite minds. So si Henry C. fired this executive. Masama talaga ang loob ng corporate executive na to kay Henry C. Kaya sapagkat ang buong buhay doon niya, ibinigay niya sa korporasyon ni Henry C. Kaya ba kanina yung he loved the corporation and he gave all of his life. Tapos isang pagkakamali lang, si Henry C. pinatalsik siya. Kaya na he went home depressed na depressed. Now, isang araw daw na-realize niya na it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it to be feeling pain forever. So he started his own business and later on his company. That man, that corporate executive, is Lu Xiu Tang. Kailangan si Lu Xiu Tang? Isang araw daw, during in a meeting, nakita si Lu Xiu Tang at saka si 
Henry C. Hindi na po employer-employee on the same level. Si Lucio Tandao shook the hand of the old man. Sabi niya, nag-iinsig sila, Sili Pong Shingwa, butay pa akong pawa. Ano yun? Lupi daw yun. Nag-iinsig sila. Ngayon ni Lucio Tan, I'm thankful to you, my mentor. Sabi niya kay kay Henry C. Sapagkat pag hindi mo ako pinayar, hanggang ngayon, ano lang ako, corporate executive lang, siguro malaki yung sweldo ko, pero dahil doon, ako'y nagkaroon ng sarili kong korporasyon. By the way, parang 60% yata, 70% ng PAL, ang mayayari nun, si Lucio Tan. No? Uh, si Lucio Tan siguro ranks to be number 3, number 4, number 5 as the richest man in the world. Ah, uh, the richest Filipino kali. So, ganun yun eh. Hindi to sila mga born again. Si Lucio Tan pa. Pero naintindihan kasi nila itong prinsipyong to eh. This is a law. Ibig sabihin na we will, up, we will apply it. It will, it will do good. It will bless us. May tao pa ho dyan? Malapangan mo na natin si Lord. I'd like to present you another uh, example. No? Uh, si Steve Jobs, hindi siya born again. No? Hindi siya Kristiyano. In fact, he died being a Hare Krishna. Iba yung juice niya. Pero si Steve Jobs, I read also this another article. He founded Apple Company. Alam ko natin yun, no? Sino yung may mga apples dito? May sumunod, no? Ginawa nila yung Blackberry. Kasi Apple, Blackberry. Ano pa ba? Siguro papaya. Oh, cherry, no? Cherry, no? Cherry. Pero si Steve Jobs, ang kanyang creation was Apple. Siguro nakabasa siya sa Bible kasi knowledge. Isang araw, yung kanyang sariling korporasyon, kasi ang ano sa kanya, CEO lang siya later. Kasi ang korporasyon, iba yung sa simple business lang. It, corporation kasi is owned by many shareholders. Siya po ay isang shareholder lang. One day, can you imagine na? Siya ang nag-found ng Apple. Apple itself, Fired him. Hello. According to the article na I read, si ano talaga si Steve Jobs na di depressya na just a month to I don't know how long. Dahil do hindi niya he somehow cannot cannot accept na yung kanyang sariling brainchild yun ang nagdestroy sa kanyang career. So what happened? One day after si Dahi mas masan, mas masan, when he became sober again, gaya ba yung lasi ng tao? Wala na yun sa sarili, di ba? Pag natin depressed, kung wala ka na sa sarili mo, na kabukasan, kahit masakit ang ulo, yung ano, malinaw na malinaw na, at saka alam mo na ang lahat, ang tawag nun sober, sobriety. Let's say it's sobriety. When he became sober, he started his own Small company. Alam ko natin yon, naririnig natin yon. It was Pixar. Pixar. Yung lahat kasi na mga animated films ngayon. Pixar yun eh. Part yun sa kay ano kay ano kay kay Steve Jobs. Sabi nila yung ano daw yung mga cartoon movies nyo at cartoon films. Parang ano yon low low quality. Pero nung si Steve Jobs daw, he started his, his own company at Pixar, animation, at saka yung movies animation, had uh, entered into another level of quality. And then later on, yung Apple na-realize nila na yung pagpapatalsik pala ni Steve Jobs, uh, it was a mistake. That is why they rehired Steve Jobs. Now, before he died, one of his best pieces that he contributed to the world history or to humankind is ito na nga yung, ano, yung iPad at saka yung iPhone. Ito, mga, ito yung mga new generation phones po natin. May tao pa ho dyan? Ito po hindi mga Kristiyano, mga unbelievers. Pero po, ina-apply po nila ano yung sinasabi ng Panginoon. That's why, ikaw at ako, anak tayo ng Panginoon, pag i-apply po natin ito, it will work. 100%. Amen. Kalapakan po na natin sila. 
pag may hurts po tayo, we have, we have got to let go of it. We have got to move on. We have got to go forward. Kasi alam po natin, the Lord is reserving something better na mas maganda. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Naintindihan po natin? Okay, I'd like us to go to num number two. God designed you only to love, not to hate. Because light cannot become darkness. No, nilalang tayo ng Diyos, nilalang tayo ng Panginoon para hindi mag-hate sa tao. Kapwa natin. Amen? Amen. Ibig sabihin, pag meron tayong hate sa puso natin, God did not create you to be like that. Hindi yan galing sa Diyos. Much nung naging born again po tayo because God is love. Amen? Amen. So why we, why we have to to let go, why we have to forget our past? Kapagat design talaga tayo ni Lord ng mag-love, hindi po mag-hate. Amen? Amen. Uh, let's continue to talk about Joseph, no? Okay. Kanina kasi we shared a little bit about Joseph. Alam po ninyo, Dahil si Joseph, he chose to love, he chose to forget his past. The Lord used Joseph's love to restore his family. Diba, ang last na makikita mo dyan, I, I, I'm, I'm forgetting what is the chapter, na nagkasiparate sila sa kanyang tatay. Kasi, uh, ibinenta siya ng kanyang mga kapatid. Habang nandun siya sa Egypt, nag, ano, nagsasuffer ang kanyang mga kapatid, happy-happy dun sa promised land. But in those long years, the Lord Galit was preparing Joseph for something better. No, ngayon, kanyang mga kapatid dun na nasa itaas, nandun na sa baba. Kasi everything pays. Amen. Amen. Pero si David, nandun na sa baba, ngayon nasa itaas na. Aha. Now, the Lord was testing what probably was in the heart of Joseph. Hindi pala nagbago si Joseph. Nung nasa baba siya hanggang nung tumaas na siya, hindi pala siya nagbago. Ngayon, takot na takot ang kanyang mga kapatid kasi alam po natin, di ba, na nagka-reconcile sila. Ay, masaya-masaya si, ano, si Jacob na nakita niya yung anak. You're my son lost! Now I have found you! He kissed him, I don't know, a thousand times, the old man. After namatay si Joseph, si, ano, ang kanyang tatay, si Jacob, Takot na takot ang kanyang lahat ng mga kapatid. Tutum! Tutum! Yung guilt ba? Kailangan kausapin natin si Joseph kasi wala na si si uh, tatay po natin. Baka si Joseph will come against us and will hate us again. When they talk to Joseph, si Joseph broke down. May tao pa ho dyan? Sabi ho ni Joseph, what evil you intended against me, God planned good for it. Hello, amen? What, what evil you did for me, God used it for my good. Ibig sabihin nun, sabi ni Joseph, kung hindi ninyo ako ibinenta, wala ako dito ngayon sa Egypt, I could not become a prime minister, I could not become the man where I am today. <laughs> you know, minsan nung bago, bago pa ako sa Panginoon, hindi ko talaga naintindihan anong klaseng values meron si, ano, si, uh, si Joseph. Nung sa kabataan ko pa. Kasi sanay, sanay kasi tayo na ano, pag nasasaktan tayo, bantay lang na ako. <laughs> Sinuntok mo ako ng isa, susuntok kita ng wala. Yung maliliit pa tayo, di ba? Yung mga grade 1 ba, di ba? Uh, assignment, assignment, sundu ka. Meron akong pinsan noon, first year high school. Yung mga klase ko, binubuli kasi ako, patay lang ka. Susumbong kita kay kuya ko. Yung first year ko na pinsan, pupunta yun sa, <laughs> sa grade 1. Wala pa teacher, i-islam yung doon. Sino yung uh, pumitik sa pinsan ko? Eh, yung mga klasikong grade 1, mag-iihi-ihi na sa kalsong. Manong, huwag ka na si Kuang, ka na si Jimbo, mawala sa Kuang. Yung tawa, what is a grade 1? Yung 
pinsan ko, ginaka na yung truck, yung green one. Oy! 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 Huwag mo nang saktan yung pinsan ko, ha? Oy! Kikinig ka! Oy! 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 Kilala mo ako? Ha? Ha? Sanay kasi tayo ng ganyan? Saktan mo ako, sasaktan. Sasaktan din kita. That won't work that way, Gale. Things doesn't work that way. Amen? Amen. Kung masasaktan tayo, hala, sige, umiyak ka na lang. Amen? Amen. Kung hindi mo kaya, umiyak ka na lang. Kaya, bilingan tayo ng emotions ng Panginoon. After that, wala ikaw other choice but to move on. Amen. Sabi ni Pablo, hindi pa man ako perfect, but there's this one thing I have learned. Forgetting what is behind and straining forward to what is before me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Para pa kado natin si Lord. Okay, check this out. Hate is actually a poison, which if one yields to it, it will change him to become a bitter person. Poison hindi yung ano ha, yung perfume na mabango. Ha? Yung poison na real talaga. Pag ang hate, ang hate kasi, pag i-entertain mo natin yan, magbabago talaga tayo. Pa, ano kaya nangyari ng ano, kaibigan ko, 10 years ago? He was the sweetest of everyone in the class. Nag-graduate ng kami, nag-high school. Graduate ng college, sampung taon kami ni nakita. Ngayon nakita kami, inimbrace ko si Nekan ko. Parang hindi naman ako kilala. Ang layo talaga. Malaki talaga nagbabago sa kanya. Hindi pala natin alam, kaya pala nagbago. Kasi na-hurt nung high school, in-entertain yung hatred. Poison yun eh. Yun ang nagbago sa kanya. Ang tawag nun, ano eh, yung yakit, yakit na... Sa Bisaya na, nakublan ba? I don't know what's in Tagalog or what's in Chabacano. He became impregnable. Yung ano ba? Pag ano kasi na yan, yung... Uh, yung... Ako balat si Buyas kasi ako ano ba si Buyas. Pero yung kalabaw, balat kalabaw ba? Yung hindi na ito natab natablan, ayun. Kublan ang ibig sabihin, yung hindi na tinatablan. Pag ang tao ganit may hatred sa kanyang puso, kahit anong mangyari, hindi niya natatablan. Hindi niya natatablan. Hindi gusto ni Lord na ganun tayo. Sabihan niyo yung katatabi mo, sabihan niyo, hindi gusto ni Lord na ganun ka. Ang sarap kapatid, pag ang presensya po, ang presensya po ni Lord bababa, during worship, tutuloy yung luha mo. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi ka kublan. Amen. Ang sarap kasi, pag nagpipreach po si pastor, na di-deliver yung message, word kasi yung ni Lord. The Word of God penetrates inside. You feel the conviction. Pag wala na, wala na kasing feeling, oh, wala lang, murag wala lang, ibig sabihin nun, you have evolved or you have developed to be uh, callous yung, ano, yung uh, obstinate, no? impregnable. Amen? Okay. I would like to close the message this morning. Child of God, the Father wants you to be the happiest. Amen. Don't allow any wrong things in the world today or yesterday to rob you of your personal joy. Walk forgiving and walk forgetting. Forget the past. Naintindihan ko talaga to. Kasi, uh, before we pray, I, we've been sometimes now in the ministry, uh, hindi, po, hindi po easy thing. Uh, when you raise up people, when you rear them up, when you love them, when you give them, what you see in us is, the, the real stuff. That's, that's how God wanted us to be. Hindi uh, naman, naman kami perfect, but uh, in as much 
we, fo we follow, by the grace of God, we follow to what the Lord wanted us on. But you know, in the process, noon ba, parang hindi ko talaga maintindihan. You know, there are some members na wala na ngayon sa church. We have love, we give our everything, we give our life, you name it, everything, because that's how we speak. But in the process, they stood against and even maligned us. That hurt me. Ang ginagawa ko niyan, it's at night, I withdraw myself and I cry. It is from this, it is from that experience where this message became real to me. Sabi ng Lord, anak, hindi ikaw ang may-ari ng church. Hindi ikaw ang may-ari sa buhay ng tao. You move on. You move on. You move on. That is why I found you. That's why we met. That's why we are a family. Amen. With you around? I, I think so. I believe so. I'm the happiest. Amen? Amen. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, sabihan mo, with you around, I'm very happy. Amen. Amen? Di ba? So, narisip po natin yung salita ng Panginoon. Amen. Kahit ano, kung masasaktan tayo, tingnan mo lang yung sumagit sa'yo. Kala, sige, bye-bye. I'll move on. Amen? At sige, allow mo ang grace ni Lord na mag-work sa'yo. Natanggap po natin yung salita ng Panginoon ngayon. Amen. Kalapakan po doon natin si Lord. Tayo.